the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. For our meditation today, the portion is taken from Paul's letter to the Romans, chapter 9, verses 19 to 33. Verse 19 to 21 reads as, You will say to me then, why then does he still find fault? For who can resist his will? But who indeed are you, a human being, to argue with God? Will what is molded say to the one who molds it? Why have you made me like this? Has the potter no right over the clay to make out of the same love one object for special use and another for ordinary use? Today, we reflect on the message submitting ourselves to our Creator. The book of Romans is Paul's letter to the church in Rome telling about the power of the gospel through Jesus Christ. Here, Paul emphasizes on the message from the gospel, salvation by grace alone through faith in Christ. Paul talks about the difference in opinion between law and grace, between Jews and Gentiles, and between sin and righteousness. Paul clearly states us that we must submit to God and not to speak against Him. This particular text narrates that God has the authority to mold us according to His will and purpose. It also communicates to us about whom God will show mercy upon. The focus for today revolves around two main elements from the scripture. The first of which is the sovereign God. As a potter exercises authority in using his clay from the same lump of clay, he makes one vessel for a more ornamental use and another for an ordinary use. God being the potter and each one of us is the lump of clay. God molds us according to His purpose. God has a sovereign right over our lives. Sovereignty implies absolute freedom. God is in control of our lives and we need to submit to His will. God is like the potter, creating some vessels for destruction and another for glory. God chooses to patiently endure those destined for destruction and God reveals His glory to all those whom He has called and tried by showing mercy. Among the vast professing Christians, Paul says that only a few will be saved. We are put right with God by accepting Christ and by believing in Him and submitting to the Gospel. Second, pursue God by faith. Paul reminds us that justification and salvation are attained by faith only and not by the works of the law. It is attained through accepting Christ. Our salvation is the work of God and not our doing in any way. It is God's grace and mercy. Mercy withholds the punishment which is rightfully deserved. Grace bestows that which is undeserved. It is said in our scripture, Do not deal with us according to our mercy, but according to your mercy. For God's guidance and leading, we rely on His Spirit through prayer, reading the scriptures, and through fellowship with our fellow believers. To conclude, it is important that we accept and surrender ourselves to God as our Creator and Savior. We must entrust ourselves to Him, acknowledging that He has a purpose for each one of us. We need to be faithful to God through our actions, as it is by His guidance that we are able to make it through each day. Let us pray. Gracious Heavenly Father, we thank you for helping us to meditate on your word. Lord, help us to keep your word in our hearts so that we have a closer walk with you. Lord Jesus, help us to stay faithful to you and humble to you at all times. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.